Hello guys, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 20 of the second season of Code Geass, but before starting this video I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, click on the notification bell and follow me this great and sad adventure. Okay, uh, last episode we understood that Lucio has uh, the final plan of his life. Let's see what's going to happen. Are you ready to watch this? Let's watch it together. Oh yes, of course. Again. It's cotton, right? Ah, oh, no, no, okay. She is regaining consciousness at this point, right? Maybe. Or in the past. What? Oh, she regained. Oh. Oh uh, you should, Villetta, because uh, you have to follow your heart. Huh? Mm, I agree with Cornelia. The real zero is Lulushu, I mean. <laughs> I imagine the days. Yes. Mano. Eh uh, no, maybe at the end. <laughs> oh, I totally dislike this part. No. Exactly. Good job, Jeremy. But yes, Karen, wake up, uh, you too, I mean... Uh... Oh, 
Oh, come on, your best friend for what? <laughs> a best friend is not like him, uh, sincerely. Exactly. And oh, he was a serving Lulu show. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe you are better than your father at this point. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, Schneisel, good job. That's great. Whoa. Results? Oh, and we should part the two, huh? <laughs> uh, you were not even married in form. <laughs> Yeah, but let's hope you're a little bit different. What's the other name? Oh! But this is true. Oh yeah, oh man, uh, we can't say something good, huh? Yes. But he doesn't care about Euphemia. <laughs> eh? Why? That's so pitiful. Ah. Oh. Hey. Come on. 
Nobody believes that. <laughs> oh! Ho, ho! Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh yes, at uh, this point I'm standing on his side. Yes! Uh, yes! Oh, he is about to save Suzaku at this point, yeah. Who is that? Ah, okay, he is uh, manipulating. Oh, yeah. At this point, look. He doesn't care, I am the safest place, no, he doesn't care, that is different. No, no, don't worry, it's better if you're helped by him, trust me. Two is better than one. Ah, uh, now he doesn't have anything anymore to lose, so... Then laugh now, because later you will cry, ah, uh, too. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> With the words, maybe. Nice. Uh, ooh. <laughs> uh, he did what you didn't expect. Oh, yes. Whoa. I like this Lulushu, to tell you honestly, because the person I didn't like at all in this story was uh, Charles. So I understand the Lelouch's mistake still now. I understand that what happened. I understand that he made lots of mistakes and he was so selfish and many, many other things I already explained to you in other commentary. But now I feel so happy over what he's doing because he doesn't have anything to lose anymore. He doesn't want to leave anymore. So the only thing he wants to do is to erase his father and his majesty. And I'm so happy. I really hope uh, Lulush can make it. And I know that probably he's going to sacrifice himself too. And in fact, when he is meeting his father at the end of the episode, he's saying they are going to be sealed over there forever, the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> but this was great because I totally dislike Charles. 
the way that he is handling things. Uh, he is just a coward that he can't face anything and he is sacrificing other people for his own purposes. He is selfish. He doesn't care. He wants to obtain power and power and power. He is like a big Lulushu. And probably Lulushu understood that by going on like this, he would have turned like Charles and this was wrong. It's like as if Charles is facing himself at this point or Lulushu is facing his future self if he could have been able to live till Charles' age. And at this point, it's better to erase the both of them because it should not be part of a good world, uh, especially after what they did until now. So I totally understand what Lulushu is doing. I totally stay on his side right now because I can't support Charles. I can't stand him since uh, the first time I saw him. And why Lul I think that Lulushu was just a victim of his own self, thanks to the power he gained. Charles uh, is just, uh, I don't like him. Uh, I can't find something in which I can say, okay, I can understand him, okay, I can stand him, or I can stay on his side, no, 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 no. So it's pointless that we keep saving this majesty come on guys you you who are protecting this majesty there's nothing to protect wake up who cares about his social status this can't be a king and for one time i agree with the schneisel and no it's the second time i agree with the schneisel who says a, a person who is abandoning his population he can't be called a king I can understand the Schneisel and I hope that he can be different even if uh, I'm not sure till the end but since he was saying these things uh, I can trust him more than Charles for sure and I like that Suzaku is joining him by creating this coup d'etat so till now I'm just satisfied I hope not to be shocked the more we go on now with the other five episodes but Definitely, I think that Charles has to be deleted uh, uh, because uh, we, I, I can't imagine that the world keeps going on by defeating Lelouch and not by defeating Charles. What happened to Anya? I mean, it's like as if she is just the, the surface and inside she's so empty that she can be able to be fooled by Marian's presence. I don't understand this because this is confusing. C2 could regain her consciousness and this is good because maybe she can be helpful somehow or she can help Lulushu with her power if she regains the consciousness and if she understands her power, the power she has to control Lulushu or to stay next to him. But at the same time, I don't understand Lulushu's mom's presence in this. It's quite confusing. Uh, I don't understand if it's Marian inside of Anya, Anya's body or if uh, CC is connecting with, with uh, Marian uh, thanks to these uh, memories uh, she could regain. I mean, it's a little bit confusing. But let's see, because uh, of course later in other episodes they are about to explain everything. But yeah, I was telling you since season one that Marian, I mean Lulucia's mom, is not dead completely. And she has a huge role in this story. She's playing this role very nicely. And let's see, because when she was saying, uh, should we go and save him? I don't know if uh, they are talking about Lulushu at this point, I think, yes, because uh, I don't think that they want to save Charles. There is no need, uh, thank you. But if they can save Lulushu and Lulushu can have a second chance, I think this would be amazing because of course he was guilty for so many things that he did. But um, I think that if he can have a second chance, probably it's the best way to redeem himself by having a second chance, by showing other people that he understood his mistakes and by going on staying next to the people who are left. I mean, we have some people 
who still care about Zero, who still care about Lelouch, even if uh, he made lots of mistakes and he was not treating them so nicely. There is still a chance or there is still time to change. If we follow, for example, other anime like Shingeki no Kyojin, we know that probably Lulushu is going to sacrifice himself and he is going to die because that's the best solution for him in order to be free again. And maybe thanks to this he can reach Nanali and rest in peace together with her. Maybe that's his great dream, maybe this is what he really wants to do and if that's the thing he wants to do, I can understand him and I can stay on his side for this thing. I've never said this, but uh, throughout this story I find uh, some connections with King Arthur, just because of the names of the robots, for example. But also because, yeah, Suzaku is uh, the owner of the Lancelot and then Lulushu, he seems uh, a King Arthur or something like that. But also because uh, while he's playing chess, he likes to play the role of the king. Uh, this is really nice. I mean, I like when anime, they got inspired by European uh, um, literature, mythology, legends, uh, and stuff like this. It happened even with the Shingeki no Kyojin, with this uh, Scandinavian mythology and things like this. I like when authors, yeah, they find some connections or they like to give names that can reconnect it with uh, all these themes or all these subjects because I like literature, I like myth mythology, so uh, this is my thing. And I really like that. Okay, guys, let's see what's going to happen. I hope that Lulush can seal Charles over there forever so he can't go out anymore. And even if this means that he has to sacrifice himself, maybe that's the best way to redeem himself for everything he did. Hope you enjoyed the Stay Tuned because next week I come back with episode 21 of the season 2 of Code Geass. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave me a like, a thumbs up, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye guys, thank you for your support. Bye, see you.